uh, first of all, peace and blessings to, to the brothers who have came in the stream, to everyone who is participating uh, this evening. Thank you for your energy and, and being a part of this conversation, a very necessary conversation and one I think um, we will do our best uh, to discuss from different aspects and perspectives. I believe, yes, 100% as a black man, born a black man. Uh, my parents always tell me I was born in the wrong generation. Um, I was, I, I am a child of the seventies. Um, and my, my parents always tell me I was, should have been born in the sixties. Um, just because of how my, my connection <clears throat> to our struggle, I would say absolutely 100% yes. For these reasons, one, we are the children of the sun. We are the descendants of the struggle. Therefore, we, I say again, we speak the language of our people. We do. When you see people pretend to do what we do, it comes off like too much creamer in your coffee. Yes, it because does. Because it's just that. Too much creamer in your coffee. So what are you drinking? Are you drinking coffee or are you drinking creamer? However, when we come on the scene, we step on the scene. We are black coffee, strong, sometimes bitter, but always energizing, right? We cannot be replaced, but our oppressor has done a very good job of trying to make us public enemies in more ways than one, right? Right. You know, I've said um, in previous streams, I, I wish you were, were a part of those. I, I, but like Frederick and Hezekiah and, and Miss Philly can, can attest to this. Um, I've said multiple times, we, they know more about us than we do. They, we are the most studied group of people in this country. They, the economy, the actual United States economy is built off of the black dollar, six trillion dollars a year, come out of only fourteen percent of the population, which is the, the black community. 